Hello, I am Professor Rahul Dighe. I am a Professor of Practice and the Program Chair for the Technology MBA program at TAPME Bengaluru. So what I am going to do now is take a few minutes to take all of you through the structure of this Technology MBA, Technology Management program. Right? So this has a fairly uh, unique, we have a fairly unique three layered structure for the program. First set of courses, of course, is the classical management and business management courses which will cover about 40% of your instruction. The next set of courses is a technology set of technology primer courses. Now these courses are not aimed at making you into technology developers or technology specialists. Uh, the idea is not that you will compete with M-Tech students, right? The idea is that you will have an understanding of technology the way technology developers do not have in a way that how can this technology be made useful to people how users can adopt technology easily and hence it provides an opportunity for people and companies to make money. So how do we monetize technology and make it useful for common man, right? That is the angle that you will learn through these set of technology courses. And this constitutes the other about second most important part of your curriculum, another 40%. The third and uh, not to be ignored very important is the vertical specializations that is you will have industry specializations. The, what we are starting with today, uh, was what we are starting with in the first year are three specializations. That is supply chain, e-commerce and retail, which is an important space in India where uh, plenty of opportunities exist. You all of you know about the unicorns that are around in, especially in Bangalore that have been founded in Bangalore, uh, that are operating in this space, Flipkart, Mintra, etc. Uh, Udan is enough, another one of them and then very fast growing companies such as Porter, right? So that's one space, that's one specialization that we have on offer. The second one of course is a no-brainer that is fintech. Now fin finance, uh, the industry opportunities are large, have been large. The Indian system integrators have been making a lot of money offer offering services in this space. But of course now India is changing where we are building our own indigenous products in this space and hence there is a need for professionals like you to offer uh, to users how you can use technologies not to users but to companies and maybe you start your own companies where you can use technologies current in this space to generate income and generate money of course right. The third space that is heating up according to us is the uh, healthcare technology space. Now with you know the government doing a lot of initiatives to make health healthcare available to common man uh, there is room for technology there is a role very strong role for technology to make this outreach even better do, throughout the country so imagine that a set of people are actually in remote villages now how do we make healthcare available to them there are of course you know important thing is to have good doctors and hospitals but there is of course you know the medium of technology that also plays an important part you can already see this we already see this through the companies such as Practo where you have virtual consultations and so on and the work in this area is only going to increase so that is why we that is where we feel there are plenty of opportunities for bright young professionals like you so let's next let's spend a little bit of time on understanding how you will get ready to deliver these promises to the industry, right? How you will be enabled to become the change agents and be able to transform businesses digitally uh, through this curriculum and through this program. So naturally, we need to have some grounding in technology. We, uh, while we say that you are not going to compete with MTech students and you are not becoming technologists per se, it's important to have a basic one-on-one understanding as we call it of important technologies, current technologies especially. So there is a large range of those as you can imagine we have cyber security, you have IoT and you have the entire digital marketing stack and usually as you may have seen you may have come across already the digital marketing stack will probably have four or five uh, prominent and popular software tools that we will teach you and get you hands on on those. right? So as, we, as I mentioned earlier we have a situation in India where we are starting to build our own products. Now what does that mean? We need, there is a dire need in the market for people who can manage products. And what do we mean by managing products? Starting with understanding what users need and then capturing that and detailing that out as functional specs for products 
for technologists to code to create develop those products so, so product management is a very prominent area where there is a dire need of professionals in the market right so that's one thing and allied with that are user user interface and user experience design etc also since since in today's world we are not living in a era where we make five year plans and build buildings and hence also software was built in that fashion uh, earlier 20 years back but rather today what you have is very agile development every 3 months you actually have a new version of the tool that you are using on the cloud and maybe it's not even 3 months every month so you can see that you know if you log into facebook or whatever every month there is a push for you to update the app right so it's a very agile environment and agile development and product development management in that is very key so moving on of course what is another thing that is prominent in today's world is large amount of data that is being gathered now what do you how do you make sense out of it through analytics through ai machine learning and you will hear everywhere that ai is changing the way we work the changing the way we live it's everywhere and we don't want uh, any of you to be left behind in this while ai and machine learning from an algorithm perspective may look daunting in your courses we will simplify it to the extent that you know how things work as much as required but more than that what can you do with these technologies so what is the current status of ai what is the current state of ai and what can you do with that in order to solve day to day problems for example i know that there are popular tools out there for perfecting your interviewing techniques so you can record yourself through these tools the tools will provide you inputs on your facial expressions on uh, how you are delivering how you are monitoring your uh, you know volume of intonation etc so all this is out there already there so what remains to be done is for you to then understand these tools and find opportunities where you can use them and monetize them right in order to do this now how do we deliver these courses uh, one way to do that of course is you have classroom cl the traditional way of slide where etc we do away with most of that while we believe that there is there is theoretical training that is required the understanding of theory is essential it's very important for you to be hands on with these tools right and for that towards that we have set up four important labs in our campus one of course is the fintech the second one is supply chain e-commerce and retail lab and the next two are obvious ones that is analytics and ai labs and as you can see in the list of software uh, we have what you what you will expect for agile development you have jira you have uh, asana tools like that then for robotic process automation you have ui path in ai and ml you have the standard pytorch and also we will cover uh, google tensorflow and of course we have a partnership with ibm which we will leverage by teaching you ibm watson uh, in the supply chain and the retail space you can no 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 points for guessing that you have you start with e-commerce shopify popular tool zoho very very popular about to become a billion dollar company founded by an indian and uh, interesting thing if you haven't like, already come across it he actually lives in his village in tamil nadu right so the space is changing it's very exciting um, just on the side on this slide and you can see the other tools that you can expect these are all commercially used software these are not lab software uh, also these are not you know toy kind of software they are actually used by uh, several hundred thousand users in the smb space and the ones which are larger uh larger in terms of their footprint that is functionality footprint they are actually used by enterprises as well large enterprises so that hopefully gives you an idea of what sort of approach what kind of approach we have to teach you technology hands on now another important aspect of the instruction that's going to be very exciting for students is that your instruction will actually happen maybe about a third of your instruction will all happen through industry professionals by that i don't mean professionals who have exited the industry but actually rather are practicing in the industry actually working in the industry but they have a passion for connecting with young minds such as you they have a passion for teaching you letting you in on what's actually happening in the industry right now so about a third of your instruction will happen through practicing industry professionals right so very interesting aspect of this program and the second thing about this program also is that 
about 30 percent of your instruction about a third of your instruction actually will be hands on using the labs and the software that we have set up there. Now, is it enough to set up just software get a license and install it? No. So, the industry professionals that are going to teach you they have guided students to create and curate data sets based on their understanding and their knowledge of the industry. So, you will be using near industry actual data sets to play with to learn the industry as well as the software tools. So, uh, I hope this gives you a good idea of what the program structure is like and how you are going to go through your learning should you join this program. And if you have any further questions, please, please feel free to reach out to me or to reach out to Professor Aditya Jadav who is the Dean of this uh, school and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you.